Welcome to episode 58 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hull Car Shirts and today we're going to take a look at the 2005 Away Shirt. So the 2005 Away Shirt is a naturally blue shirt, but we do have this band of white that comes down here. So that's quite thick on the sleeves, goes under the armpit and then kind of thins out as we go down to the bottom. And within that there is a red bit of piping just to break up the blue and the white and kind of give us our red and white natural colours from our home shirt. This detailing is also the same on both sides, so if you was to cut the shirt in half, it is symmetrical. The shirt was sponsored by DMQA Rail. Their branding was heat applied to the front there, and then the embroidered sponsors, we've got SOS Office Supplies, we've got the Carlotti who manufacture the shirts, as I spoke about in episode 57, was with those guys for four years, and the Hulkingston Rovers badge was embroidered also with the pride of East Hull underneath as it has been on quite a few shirts during that time. We've got Scarness embroidered into the collar here. Now, there is no turnover collar on this one, but this is kind of a, a place where we would expect to see these collar sponsors. I've spoken a little bit about in episode 57 about that placement. So a good, just a good example here of the, the sponsor there being applied to part of the collar. And then we've got this reinforced stitch in here, which is quite prevalent really. You can see how strong that looks, um, really, really thick. It's gonna take a, a lot of damage to be able to get through through one of those. Um, I will obviously put some pictures up so you can see it a little bit closer if you're struggling on the picture there. So having a look at the side. Now, we didn't actually have competition patches um, until sort of 2007. So we've got on here, we've just got an embroidered sponsor. So it says bar and restaurant. Wagoners worn near Kingswood um, on this side and then on the other side we also have another embroidered sponsor <clears throat> This time it is Intellectual print and you can see that that has just been embroidered in to the shirt You can see there oh, got quite a bit of the stitching coming away on the inside So yeah, very different to what we uh, what we see these days with either sublimated print or even heat applied patches Right then, we're on to the back, and you can see that this was worn by the number one. So this shirt was likely worn by the fullback during 2005, during our away games. It's really difficult to, to pinpoint it down to an exact player, but looking into a little bit of research, and I believe this was probably worn by Leroy Rivette, it will likely have been worn by other players as well, um, but he's the one that kind of stood out to me when I was doing that little bit of research. Um, I have covered one of Leroy Rivette's shirts in the past. That was the one that he wore in the 2006 Grand Final. I won the game promotion to the Super League, so I'll pop the information up there just in case you want to see a little bit more of another shirt that was worn by Leroy Rivette or learn a little bit more about Leroy as a player. Uh, as you can see here, we've got another sponsor, 3663, first for food service. This has been heat applied onto the shirt. Now, it has been heat applied over some stitching, now I'm surprised that hasn't come away because that is normally uh, something which can force uh, an applique to peel. Uh, you can see where the stitching is inside of it, but luckily it hasn't managed to uh, cause that too much damage for it to begin to peel. Um, there's a little bit of bobbling going on down here in the white, so it does show that it's likely been worn at some stage. And uh, the, the lack of sort of sponsor on the bottom here kind of takes away a little bit now from what we see these days. We've become very sponsor heavy on rugby shirts. This one still has quite a few, uh, but we are now accustomed to, to seeing a sponsor placement down here. And obviously there, there is no name. Uh, Rovers didn't have names on the back of playing shirts until 2007. And you'll also know that because this shirt, as you can probably tell from looking at it, is absolutely massive. Uh, it's a size extra large. So the the reason why there was also a big is because they never really knew who was going to be needed to wear it. So quite a lot of playing shirts from 2005 and earlier are really big. Uh, you look at pictures, they're quite baggy on some of the players when they're wearing them. So that's just another interesting take because in 2006 and 2007, that was when we really saw that change to, to players having much more fitted shirts. So yeah, really, really interesting take from that one. Right, so that's everything for episode 58 of Talking Shirts. Check back in two weeks, I'll be back with episode 59. Please make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've got to 80 subscribers now, so if we can just keep pushing them and get to that 100, I can rename my channel 
Um, I just want to say thank you as well to everybody that does continue to watch the videos. Your support is greatly appreciated. So it's a little bit of a fun hobby of mine that I enjoy doing. But to be able to see other people enjoying it as well, it really does mean a lot to me. That's everything. I'll check back in a couple of weeks' time. See you soon. Bye for now.